evolution between religion and science and spirituality. Religion has been just in so much battle with science because it's in a sense afraid to lose power and control. So many religions, you know, believe that their God is the one and only and every other religion, it's not the same God. But science has played a huge part in helping us to understand so many things around us. They've helped us to understand, you know, our water, how to cleanse it and keep it clean. They have learned how to, you know, count the distance between here and the stars or between here and the sun, the beautiful sun in the sky. They have given us so many answers. But one thing I do love about science, and that is if they discover something else and they're not afraid to say they weren't quite right or they were wrong, but here is the true answer now. They're not afraid to do that. And that's why I feel so strongly that science and religion needs, need to come together. They need to walk across that bridge together and stand together and help each other. And I don't think religion should be afraid because there is no need for the Catholic Church or any other religion to be afraid of science because science is going to help us all to understand spirituality, to understand our souls, to understand the angels, to understand God. It's going to, it's like, you know, there is no need for us to be in this particular battle. We need to, in a sense, just open up and say, it's okay. I'm going to give science a chance. And I think all religions need to say that. And it's not just the leaders of religions. I believe it is the people, all of us, because it will give us the chance to understand the universe, the sky. And that's where it all started. That's where the battle started, was in the sky. When Galileo, at least I think it was Galileo, turned around and said, you know, the planets, the earth revolves around the sun. And religion went crazy, especially the Catholic Church. Um, and they called him a heretic. And he was imprisoned. And he wasn't the only one that spoke up as time went by. And eventually, science proved that our planet and the other planets revolve around the sun and that the Earth is not the centre of everything, which it isn't. I know that and I'm not a scientist. But... I think as well we need to just be that little bit more open to science. I think we all need to say to ourselves, I want to learn more about science. I want to learn more about the sky, about the universe. I want to learn what's actually all around me. Like I'm sitting here in this chair, but the universe is around me. And wherever you are, the universe is around me. And science is delving into all of that. It's delving into the understanding of God. It's delving into the understanding of your soul. It's looking for evidence and it is finding evidence. Like when Galileo found the evidence, you know, that our planets go around the sun for such a long time, it wasn't believed until it was even proven more. And the way I think that science can help so much is that if we open our hearts and we say to ourselves, I believe in my faith, 
I believe in my religion. But God is friendly and loving and compassionate. And the universe, the sky, is a friendly place. It's there for all of us. And allowing ourselves to understand more of the universe around us so that we can understand more of God, even more of our religion, whatever that may be, and realize that we don't have to be in battle. Science and religion does not have to be in battle at all. I was talking with a scientist there just a little while ago and he was talking away and I was finding it fascinating. And then he just asked me a question and he just said, do you think Lorna Archangel Michael could answer this question? And I said, I don't know. Um, he might and he might not. But he asked the question. I didn't quite understand the question, but I gave back the answer that Archangel Michael gave. And this scientist sitting in front of me turned around and said, that was a profound answer. And even for someone that knows so much about science, to say that back to me. To me, that is even a step forward in revolution. A step forward in us understanding that God does speak to us, the angels speak to us, that the universe, the sky, is helping religion to understand more about God, more about ourselves. And I would always say, you know, for that intertwining of the body and the soul to happen. And just to, you know, I just love listening to science or listening to people talking about, you know, what they may think or what they may, may believe. Or in a sense, you're listening to a scientist and he's talking in another language. But yet, if you're open enough spiritually, it's like you start to understand his language. You start to understand what he's saying because you have taken down the barrier you've you're no longer in battle and spiritually God is giving you an understanding of what he's saying and you may not even be able to explain it back to them but you understand deep inside of you and that's why I would love to see religion and science come together because then we will learn how to understand more about our own spiritual self, our own souls, about spirituality. And just remember, I think it's important because to me it's very important to have the belief and the understanding that the universe is a, a friendly place. The sky is a friendly place. It's not out to destroy us. God isn't. God loves us. And God is the sky and the universe. He is everything. God bless.